there has come a time where boy turns into man, where brown turns into blonde, where haircuts are made. And that is here on Brad Mondo's YouTube channel. And if you are trying to see a makeover, a boy, a little tiny boy, <laughs> If you are trying to see a tiny, weak, insignificant, puny little boy turn into a man today, <laughs> you have come to <laughs> piece of dirt underneath your shoe <laughs> turn into something a little more recognizable. <laughs> That's your cute. That's my cute. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You should have known but when, I, when I first said it, puny. <laughs> Tiny piece of dirt that I was that was talking about you. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Thanks for always being a supportive it's, sister. Listen, it's the least I could do for you. Why don't you get on camera a little bit? Maybe that'll help. Oh, hey, Brad. Hey, sister. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Eric Mondo, Sister Mondo is here. Sister Mondo. <laughs> And we're ready, finally, to give Eric a makeover. And a lot of you guys have requested it for a long, long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch it. Boop! Okay. <laughs> a lot of you guys have requested for a long time that I give Eric a hair makeover, and believe me, I have wanted to for so long, but Eric is a little scared. A little of scared. Of color. And he's never done anything crazy, drastic, different, uh, amazing, substantial. I haven't colored my hair since, like... Very young. Very young. And he only did like highlights when he was younger. So today, today, Eric is getting a whole new color. And I'm thinking we might look a little more similar by the end of this video. Oop, boop, oh, boop. I'm not gonna say what! Oh, <laughs> this is me. Throw away the key! <laughs> oh, there it goes over the cliff. See it? There it goes. So what's gonna happen today is we're gonna do color, we're gonna do a haircut, and then I'm gonna give Eric a fashion. Makeover, honey. Make three things! And also, in between, around town, we're gonna be answering questions you guys gave us on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys haven't followed us on Instagram, Brad Mondo NYC, Eric Mondo underscore LLC. <laughs> <laughs> you should make it that. Eric Mondo LLC. That's cute. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And then all of your merch can be like LLC. <sighs> Branding. <High five>. Branding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get started on your hair color. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. Let's jump it. <laughs> so here's the game plan for Eric's color. I'm gonna be using Big Nine by Guy Tang. It is honestly my favorite thing to lighten with. I've been using it for everything, double processes, foils, balayage, everything, because I like the way it doesn't crumble. It stays creamy. It is just a great consistency. It's we want really that. Good. And it lightens a lot. It'll lighten your black hair to blonde. And then I mixed it with 30 volume and Olaplex, which is gonna bring the 30 volume down to a 20 because it brings it down one level of lift when you add Olaplex in. So I just mixed it the recommended ratio, which is one to one and a half with developer. And then of course the same mixing ratio for Olaplex. Okay, so great, boring stuff out of the way. And of course I'm using my beautiful, this is not sponsored by anybody I'm using today, but they just sent me this stuff and like, look how pretty this bowl is. Very pretty. And this brush. Oh. And wait till you see my foils I'm using today. They're so gorgeous. And they're ombre pink and blue foils. Oh. Like Framar, thank you so much. Cause these are amazing. And I'm obsessed with Framar. If you guys are a professional hairstylist out there and you guys are looking for some good <laughs> Some good <laughs> to do hair color with, go to Framar, for sure. Okay, so basically what's gonna be going on here is I'm gonna be foiling every single piece of Eric's longer hair. Woo! That way the hair incubates and we get those ends really nice and light before we go and hit the root. And so we're just gonna take really small sections and we're just gonna foil with these gorgeous foils that I'm really excited to use. Whoa. This is what I'm gonna be doing for the entire top of his head, just like that. But I'm nervous. So again, guys, the goal here is not to get it close to his root because we're gonna be doing that after this, but that is my first foil. It's just a simple old foil and leaving the root out for now because we're gonna go back and do all that up. So I'm gonna go really fast and just do this entire top half. And boom, Ah, that's one side <laughs> of Eric's head complete. As you guys can see, we got some satisfying foil work going on there. And we got pink and blue foils that are so pretty and they're ombre and I'm so excited about them. And um, I'm gonna work on the other side now. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Okay, so that is the entire foil section complete. Look how satisfying that is. There's nothing I like better than like good foils. And this side's clearly better, but we're not gonna talk about it. As you can see, I did really, really, really small sections, really fine hair, because you want that bleach to penetrate the entire section of hair you're doing. And if you take too big a sections, you'll get spotting. And make sure you layer on that bleach very heavy when you're doing foils like this for a double process because you need that bleach to penetrate the entire foil, okay? We do not want bleed marks, we do not want spotting, that is not cute. And if you don't get enough bleach on the hair, it'll just end up yellow and that's not cute. So. He is incubating, it is lightning currently, obviously. And then I'm gonna hit all of this and the roots in between all these foils. And we're gonna process that whole thing for probably like 45 minutes to an hour. And then we're gonna rinse it off, see what we got and work from there. Let's do it. So we're now all done, we're both sweating to death, and we're gonna, no, we're gonna process. Once these foils are nice and pale yellow like the inside of a banana, we're gonna pull them out, we're gonna run everything through the comb, we're gonna make sure it's all distributed evenly, there's no spotting, there's no nothing, there's, everything's perfect and beautiful and blonde and platinum. It's gonna take a little while, Eric's hair is a little stubborn, it's definitely not like mine, it, mine lightens way faster than his, but. So yeah, we'll be back once Eric is all washed and done, and then we'll maybe like do a toner, we'll see what happens after that. We'll this see burns. You. We'll see you then, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Okay, Eric hasn't seen himself yet, obviously, clearly with the blindfold. I'm nervous. But um, he couldn't wait until I was done with the haircut and everything to see it. He wanted to see it now. So let's show Eric what his hair looks like. Ready? Three, two. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. You look like me. We look even more twinny. This is a Luke. It is such Whoa. a Luke. Whoa. All right, so let me explain the color, you guys. So Eric does have a really dark face. Like he's like a level six, like even like close to a five. So it is much, much harder to lighten the mind hair. But I mean, look how even this color is, you guys. Look at that. I'm speaking. Thank you, sweetie. Sorry. I'm obsessed with it. We're gonna do a little haircut now. A little haircut. Really need quick. one. Um, we're gonna answer some questions you guys asked us on Instagram also oh, while yes. I'm doing his haircut. So let's do that. Let's get to it. Do and it. transition. All right, questions. First one, how does it feel to be two of the baddest? <laughs> that one's from Joe. <laughs> Love you, Joe. It feels good. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty legit. All right, when you bleach your hair, does it hurt? <laughs> All right, why don't you answer that question? It burns. Mine doesn't. Burns. I don't have a sensitive scalp. I don't feel anything. I guess I have a very sensitive scalp because mine was burning for about three hours. I mean, typically I don't feel anything, but sometimes I do. This one's from Annalou92. It's actually not a question. It's a sentence. Here's a German sentence for you to read out loud. Du bist schon. I don't think we should do that. I took German. What does it say? It says you're beautiful. Du bist is you are, and then schon is beautiful. <laughs> Brad, this one's for you. What are some tips to get through beauty school? I would say just do it as fast as you can and like do the faster program. Like usually schools offer a faster situation and a slower one. Just girl, get it over with. Get it done. Get it done. Work hard, party hard, as they say. And just like go. Don't miss any days. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's rough. You'll be fine. All right, here's another one. Can you dye Eric's hair in the next video? The answer to that is yes. Yes. Did you feel competitive with your brother growing up? Um, no. I never did either. Shout out to my mother, Jane Imondo, and my father, who does not have a handle. They were really good about not comparing us to each other and allowing us to like be ourselves, just encouraging us to be good people, like yeah. whatever we were doing. They definitely were advocates for being unique, even though my mom yes. didn't like when I was emo. <laughs> Brad, what's your most annoying habit? I have a really annoying <laughs> habit, actually, and I know you're you get annoyed oh, by it. You I already know what it is. is it curling my hair? Uh -huh. I go like this all the time when I get nervous. Yep, he's like a little, such a nervous little, habit. Little girl, it's, it's so, so bad. My annoying habit. For me, I think it's you're obviously the more creative one. So you have that kind of creative energy where you like keep everything inside until like you're ready <laughs> to just tell everyone everything about what you're doing. <laughs> Can we elaborate on that? So like, I'll be like, Brad, what are you doing to my hair? You'd be like. 
Oh, and then work wise, um, you'll be like, and no, you'll be like, the day I'll be, I won't talk, and then all of a sudden I'll just go. So you're, we have to do this, 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 and this, and we have to make yeah. sure that packaging is like About that. halfway through the day, you're like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and there's like, there's like five minutes of that, and then I, I say everything that needs to be done in those five minutes, and then I go back to, to other things. This one just says, Komodo? You mean Komodo? <laughs> Brad, cereal or milk first? Um, I don't eat I don't, cereal, but and you're if I were to, it'd be the cereal first. 100%. 100%. Who does milk first? Like, what do you think, I'm a criminal? Right? That should be illegal. Do you like Shawn Mendes? So, uh, would I be gay if I was, if I didn't? No, Brad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite quote? It's in the back of my phone. Hold on, let me think. It's, success is about being able to go from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Success is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. You know what's crazy about you that? guys always remember that. You know what's crazy about that? So Brad had that quote, has that quote on his phone. He's had it on his phone for like two years at least, right? But I've seen it many times. And then just recently I was going through my computer and like going through like really old files because I got a new computer. And I found my first Facebook that I ever made back in like 2010, 2009. And back then they used to ask, what's your favorite quote? And it was the <laughs> same <laughs> quote. Well, let me explain why I like that quote so much, you guys. I know you guys, always see like my successes online, but like behind the scenes, it's not that easy. And like a lot of things go wrong and a lot of things are upsetting and a lot of things, whatever. But like, you just have to remember that everybody kind of went through that in order to get to high levels that they are, you know? Remember to have enthusiasm and be happy even when you fail at things in life because you will get somewhere. Sometimes you have to fail in order to say. succeed. Right. Exactly. You're welcome for that. 100%. They came for a makeover and they get- And they get life advice. Like what What else could you want? Like what else? Making Eric into Brad 2.0, dye his hair silver and turn him into you. <laughs> okay, this is awkward. Brad, what are your tips for cutting bangs? Don't do it yourself. <laughs> but if you are gonna do it yourself, cause you probably are anyways, cut upwards. Don't cut this way. That's That'll good. give you nice um, separation and nice texture and it won't be too like, blunt and it'll make it a little bit more modern. What is your favorite color that you have colored your hair besides blonde? The first time I did split color, it was mint and pink. That was really pretty. Is your brother a hairdresser too? If not, what does he do? So I am not a hairdresser, although I love to give critical critiques, <laughs> constructive critiques. <laughs> I just recently quit my job in Boston, which was working uh, for an oil and gas company in the accounting and finance department. And I am working with Brad on Ex Mondo, which has been a wild experience and we are doing a lot of great things. We're just over here revolutionizing the hair care industry one product at a time. Eh, eh. Eric and I together as a team and the other people we have on our team for Ex Mondo. Great team. Ooh, watch. watch out. Watch out. So as cutting his hair, I decided I want a little bit silver just because we're talking and like definitely there's a little bit of yellow still showing and I just want to cancel that yellow out and get it nice and nice and nice. And Eric agrees. He initially wanted his silver anyways. We're just going to add a bit of silver in there. Who is most likely to get pregnant? <laughs> Somebody asked that. Um, probably you. No, you're way more susceptible. Embarrassing stories from your childhood, both of you. You remember it. I'll, I'll probably remember You remember it. What is it? All right. Come on, telepathy. Hold on, ready, send it to me. Okay, ready? You got it? Oh, it's downloading. Okay, just let me know. Downloading. <laughs> you get it? No, give me a telepathy you hint. My pants ripped. And we got in a fight. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, remember my, I remember I was like trying to get in the car and you like wouldn't let me get in the car for some reason and you, you like started like tugging on my pants like trying to get me like to get out. My favorite pants split in half and I was so upset. Wait, were we at home or were we yeah, out? We were at home. I don't remember that. I was that. so upset. Remember when your foot got ran over? And that wasn't embarrassing, bro. That hurt. <laughs> Tell that story. We lived on a hill and... You know, we were just like kids doing like stupid things and we were on a wagon, like riding it down the hill, tried to stop it, put my foot down to stop it and it flipped over and just shredded the top of my foot. It was disgusting. Shredded it. Like, shredded it, did it, it. Oh, by the way, you guys, I didn't even tell what I'm, I didn't even tell you what I'm using, but this is like my favorite thing to do is use pastel gray overtone mm. and mix it with conditioner to make it like extremely pastel because we don't want to overtone this. Brad, I have a good question. Are there going to be more hair products by Ex Mondo? Mm. That's all I have to say about that. Mm. Tea.
Do you like New York? I am so obsessed with New York. I convince everybody to live here. And there's nothing I love more than New York City. Like every time I even travel, I want to come back here and I just want to like be here. It's just the best city in the world. Like I've been to a lot of different cities in the world and this is just nothing compares to it. Nothing's like it. Every kind of culture here, we have every kind of fashion, we have every kind of like every person in the world you could possibly want to hang out with. It's just like the, the coolest place ever. Mm, what do you think, mm, Eric? Mm, 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 mm. Um, so far, loving New York. All right, here's another question. <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever do a video where you let Eric completely transform your hair, love you two together. No, because he's not a yes. professional hairstylist. What if I try hard? No, that's like not my brand. Boombaya, that is it. So that is the toner on. I think after all, I ended up making his hair silver. So yes. we're gonna see how that looks when it's done, and then we'll rinse it off, and we'll do a little blow dry, and then we'll get our in a cute little outfit. And yeah, let's do it. Oh boy, was that a day, you guys. Ooh, we've been here for hours and hours and hours. And it's getting really ugh, hot in this room for some reason. There's like flames coming up from the ground. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Is this the new Brad Mondo? Period. So clearly we went a little bit silver on the root. Eric really wanted that and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give him exactly what he wanted, which was the silver hair. It's still pretty white, but it's definitely silver. I mean like, now we have a little bit of different hair. I'm more of like a natural blonde. He's more natural blonde. <laughs> My hair's white. I am fully obsessed with it. What do you think about it? Love it. You love it? Absolutely love it. I crushed it. Crushed it. I crushed it. Crushed it. I slayed away on his exactly hair. Exactly what I wanted. And this is exactly what he wanted. I'm so happy with it. And I think he looks amazing. And we look really scary similar now. <laughs> Ew, it's so creepy. Can, Can you go that way? No, Eric, I'm not taking a picture. You're really difficult to work with. So for the toner, the way I got it, kind of like an ombre from a grayish color to a white at the end is by applying that mixture of pastel silver overtone with conditioner, a very small amount of that. And then on the root, I went back and I applied just straight up pastel silver onto the root and then combed it all through. So it gives that gradient that you are seeing now. And he still has his curls there. It is fully, fully curly. Love it. Um, he didn't lose any of his curls. His hair is still very healthy. And to style it, we use, of course, Glitterati by my own brand, X Mondo. If you want it, you can get it. Purchase it below. XMondoHair.com. Um, and it really helps Eric's curls stay intact. He uses it every day of his life. Love it. So that is my full <laughs> hair transformation, Eric. And we, I, of course, put him in one of my shirts because we just had to finish it <laughs> with it. I'm really jealous of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get mine a rest though. <laughs> all right, that is all for today. Follow us both on Instagram, like we said before, Eric Mondo underscore Brad and Mondo NYC. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life like Eric now is. Woo! And I will see you all next time. Peace. Peace.